Covering the state, the 2023 legislative session came to an end today after lawmakers passed a record $117 billion budget. During the 60-day session, the Republican-controlled House and Senate passed numerous high-profile bills that lined up with priorities of Governor Ron DeSantis. The bills addressed abortion, immigration, death penalty, and LGBTQ issues. Today, DeSantis praised lawmakers for their aggressive agenda. I don't know that there was uh, any meat left on the bone after this legislative session. If you look on issue after issue, uh, we uh, jointly worked together to tackle this stuff head on. To order. However, Democrats say the 2023 session was a setback for the state, arguing many Floridians are worse off than before the session began. It is not going to help people lead more prosperous lives because we didn't focus enough on those kitchen table issues. So unfortunately, it's going to leave a lot of Floridians underwater financially, but also leave them less free. The legislature also passed a bill expanding taxpayer funding private school vouchers to all Florida students. Along with the budget, state lawmakers approved a nearly $1.3 billion tax package for the next fiscal year. It includes expanding popular shopping sales tax holidays, trimming a commercial lease tax, and cutting off the cost of diapers. Representative Mike Beltran says the variety of tax cuts will help all Floridians. Our economy is doing great. We should try to return uh, more money to the taxpayer. And we need to remember when we're taxing people, we are forcing, forcing our constituents to give up their money. And we should only do that if it's absolutely necessary. The biggest ticket item for businesses would lower a commercial lease tax from 5.5 percent to 4.5 percent starting in December. That proposal is expected to save businesses $256 million. The latest update in the feud between the state and Disney. The state legislature has passed a land use and development bill that could void Disney's previous land agreements in the state. It passed with a 27 to 13 vote. According to the bill, a newly appointed board can nullify agreements with special districts put in place up to three months before the board was installed. The bill now heads to the governor's desk. It would allow the governor-appointed Rady Creek Board to eliminate agreements the board made with Disney before the state takeover. Finally, the legislature passed a number of bills connected to North Central Florida. Those include a bill to give control of Gainesville Regional Utilities to a state-appointed board, a bill to rework the powers of the government of town of Fort White, the Rex and Brody Act, concealing autopsy reports of child domestic violence victims. Ava's law to allow deferred prison time for pregnant inmates.